और उसके बाद हम लोग ने ये देखा था कि बॉस और लीडर के बीच में क्या अंतर होता है आखिर बॉस कौन होते हैं और लीडर कौन होता है फिर हम लोगों ने ये देखा था कि लीडरशिप क्या होता है और उसके बाद हम लोगों ने हम लोगों ने लीडरशिप और मैनेजमेंट के विभिन्न विभिन्न अंतर को देखा था कि इसके भी लीडरशिप में क्या होता है और मैनेजमेंट में क्या होता है फिर लीडरशिप के प्रोसेस को हम लोगों ने जाना था और फिर हम लोगों ने ये देखा था कि लीडरशिप की थ्योरीज क्या क्या होती है फिर लीडरशिप की चार थ्योरीज होती है जिसमें आज हम लोग ट्रेड थ्योरी करने जा रहे हैं तो ट्रेड थ्योरी क्या होता है तो ना ट्रेड थ्योरी दिस थ्योरी इज बेस्ड ऑन दिन दैट लीडर्स आर बॉर्न it believes that it believes that that make them good that make them a good leader it believes that either leader born or made by a certain qualities that puts anyone in the shoes of a good leader that is a trait theory there are there are two trait in the trait theory that is first is inner trait and second is the acquired trait and in two trait there are many features like first is the physical feature that are in the next slide yeah this is fear. this is physical feature physical feature of a man are determined by heredity factor heredity is the transmission of qualities from ancestor to descendant yeah physical feature ke slide pe hum log photo kuch photos dekh rahe hain pehla photo jo hai wo ek lambe ladke ka hai aur dusra photo jo hai wo ek chote ladke ka hai jo lambe ladke ka photo hai usko apne assistant se ye prapt hua hai uske father bade ho bade hain aur ye jo chhota ladka hai ye हो सकता है इसके फादर या मदर छोटे होंगे जिसकी वजह से ये छोटा है तो इसी को हम लोग ट्रांसमिशन ऑफ क्वालिटीज फ्रॉम एनसिस्टर टू डेसिडेंट करते हैं जो कि फिजिकल फीचर में आता है नाउ नेक्स्ट इज इंटेलिजेंस इंटेलिजेंस टू अ वेरी ग्रेट एक्सटेंट इज अ नेचुरल क्वालिटी इन द इंडिविजुअल बिकॉज इट इज डायरेक्टली रिलेटेड विद द ब्रेन जैसा कि आप लोग फिगर में देख रहे हैं यहाँ पे तीन फिगर है तीनों ब्रेन तीनों ब्रेन का ही फिगर है और जैसा कि हम लोग मानते हैं इंटेलिजेंस जो है वो डायरेक्टली रिलेटेड होता है ब्रेन से कुछ बच्चों का मैथ बहुत अच्छा होता है तो वो ऐसा नहीं है कि उसके फादर से मिला हुआ है या उसके एनसेस्टर से मिला हुआ है उसका वो उसका इंटेलिजेंस होता है उसका ब्रेन से रिलेटेड है उसका मैथ बहुत अच्छा है वो मैथ में अच्छा है कुछ तो ये वो उसकी ब्रेन मिलती सो इमोशनल स्टेबिलिटी लीडर शुड वेल एडजस्टेड एंड हैज नो एंटी सोशल एटीट्यूड लीडर शुड हैव हाई लेवल ऑफ स्टेबिलिटी एंड शुड फ्री फ्रॉम बायस इसमें तीन फिगर्स है इसमें जो इमोशनल स्टेबिलिटी का मतलब होता है कि लीडर कोई भी लीडर अपने इमोशन को तुरंत जाहिर ना करे या तो खुशी का एक्सप्रेशन हो या फिर दुख का एक्सप्रेशन हो जल्दी उसको शो नहीं करे वो अपने इमोशन को स्टेबल करके रखे जैसे कि बीच वाला जो आप लोग फोटो देख रहे हैं उसमें एक लीडर है या एक जो भी है एक लड़का है तो वो एक हाथ में ब्रेन रखे हुए एक हाथ में हार्ट को रखे हुए तो दोनों को समांतर करके चलना ही एक लीडर की पहचान होती है नाउ वी आर मूविंग टू आर नेक्स्ट स्लाइड यू ह्यूमन स्टेबिलिटी अ सक्सेसफुल लीडर है ह्यूमन बींग इन द डिफरेंट सिचुएशन एक सक्सेसफुल लीडर की ये पहचान होती है कि वो जानते हैं कि कोई भी मतलब तो अलग अलग तरह के लोगों से कैसे हम डील करें जैसे कि कुछ इंप्लॉय जो होते हैं वो गुस्से वाले होते हैं कुछ इंप्लॉय जो होते हैं वो जल्दी इरिटेट हो जाते हैं कुछ इंप्लॉय जो होते हैं वो डिमोटिवेट होते हैं तो वो एक लीडर का काम होता है उनको मोटिवेट करना तो ये ये ह्यूमन स्टेबिलिटी के अंतर में आता है इसमें आप लोग दो फोटोज को देख रहे हैं पहला फोटो हमें ये दिखाता है कि ये जो इम्प्लॉय है या सबोर्डिनेट है वो काफी गुस्सा है तो उसका जो बॉस है उसको काम कर रहा है और ना कि उसके साथ झगड़ा कर रहा है एक तरह का गुस्सा है तो उसका बॉस एक लीडर की पहचान होती है कि उसको वो शांत कर रहा है दूसरे फिगर में हम लोग ये देख रहे हैं कि ये ये जो दूसरा फिगर है उसमें जो सबोर्डिनेट है वो सोया हुआ है इरिटेट हो चुका है तो उसके में उसका जो बॉस है उसको समझा के मोटिवेट करके उससे काम कर रहा है ये एक लीडर की पहचान होती है एक सक्सेसफुल लीडर होने इसका मतलब यही होता है कि ह्यूमन को स्टेबल करें अलग अलग सिचुएशन में मनुष्य को कैसे इंप्लॉय को हम लोग मेंटेन करके चले नाउ दूसरे की जगह पर खड़ी होकर देखना इसका अर्थ है कि जैसे कि ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एक मैनेजर है एक इम्प्लॉय है उसका 
अगर मैनेजर इंप्लॉय या सबोर्डिनेट काम नहीं कर रहा है तो इस वक्त मैनेजर को उसको डांटने से पहले ये फील करना चाहिए कि आज भी ये काम को कर क्यों नहीं रहा है तो उसके जगह पर रहकर उसको फील करना चाहिए जैसे कि अगर वो काम नहीं कर रहा है तो उसके जगह पे हम खड़े हो जाए कि आखिर इसके साथ रीजन क्या है कि इस काम को नहीं कर पा रहा है तो दूसरे के जगह पे रहकर खड़ा होकर सोचना उसके बाद किसी डिसीजन को लेना या उसको डांटना या उसको समझाना तो इसी को इम्पैक्ट ही करते हैं सुनाओ पहचान होती है किसी भी डिसीजन को अंदाज को लेकर आगे नहीं बढ़ना चाहिए This is motivating skill. Leaders have requisite quality to motivate their followers. Through the leader, can plan the active role by stimulating the inner drive of followers. It means, किसी भी leader में ये क्षमता होनी चाहिए कि वो अपने followers को motivate कर सके. Example के तौर पर अगर हम खुद को लेके देखें तो हम अपने class के CEO हैं. It means एक तरीके से leader की role में हैं. तो अगर मेरे अंदर ये क्षमता ही नहीं हो कि अगर कॉलेज में किसी प्रकार का कॉलेज कल्चरल एक्टिविटी हो रहा है अगर हम अपने बैचमेट को ये समझा ही नहीं पाए कि आप उसमें पार्टिसिपेट लीजिए या कल्चरल एक्टिविटी इस प्रकार का है पार्टिसिपेट लेना एक इसमें पार्टिसिपेट लेना जरूरी है और उसकी योग्यताओं को अगर हम नहीं बता पाए तो ये एक लीडर की पहचान नहीं है तो एक लीडर के अंदर ये ये क्वालिटी होनी चाहिए कि वो अपने फॉलोअर्स को मोटिवेट uh, कर सके ना द नेक्स्ट इज टेक्निकल स्किल The leadership of sorry, the ability to plan, organize, delegate, seek advice, make decision, and cooperate from members. It constitutes in technical skill. A leader के अंदर तो कुछ leader के अंदर technical skills होनी चाहिए जैसे कि किस प्रकार का plan को करना है, किसी program को कैसे organize करना है, या किसी meeting को कैसे organize करना है. ये skill जो है leader के अंदर पहले से होनी चाहिए. इसको कैसे plan करना है और किसी भी decision को कैसे लेना है. ये एक लीडर के अंदर जरूरी है होना नाउ द नेक्स्ट इज कम्युनिकेशन स्किल अ लीडर यूजेस कम्युनिकेशन स्किल फुली परसुएसिव इंफॉर्मेटिव एंड स्टिमुलेटिव पर्पस कम्युनिकेशन स्किल ये एक एक लीडर के अंदर बहुत जरूरी है क्योंकि किसी भी Uh, किसी भी सबोर्डिनेट को या एम्प्लॉय को अगर हम समझाते हैं मीटिंग के दौरान या किसी भी वे में तो हमको उसमें कम्युनिकेशन की जरूरी है आज की आज के डेट में विदाउट कम्युनिकेशन कोई लीडर कहीं भी सरवाइव नहीं कर सकता है अगर लीडर नहीं क्या कोई भी नहीं कर सकता है तो एक लीडर को कम्युनिकेशन अच्छी होनी चाहिए जो कम्युनिकेशन स्किल इज वेरी नेसेसरी इन लीडरशिप नाउ द सोशल स्किल A successful leader should have should have understand the people and know their strength and weakness. A successful leader की पहचान होनी चाहिए कि वो वो अपने अपने followers का अपने employee का अपने subordinate की strength और weakness को समझ सके कि इसकी क्या strength और इसकी क्या weakness है. उसके अनुसार अगर उसको वो काम देता है तो उसका वो उसके goal को प्राप्त करने में काफी आसानी होगी. Now now the drawback of the Of this theory, there are two drawbacks of the theory. First is this theory cannot be generalization of trait for a successful leader. It talks about different qualities and trait, but it does not specify the degree of various trait. Now, the second drawback is there is a problem of missing the trait. Two several psychologists too, have been developed to measure the trait, but no definite conclusion can be drawn. These are the drawbacks of this theory. Now that. thank you pratyek good morning everyone today i will be describing about the behavioral theory and system theory the first one is behavioral theory 
in behavioral theory there are two kind of leader first one is task related leader and second one is group oriented leader behavioral theory of leadership emphasizes that a strong leadership is the result of effective role behavior to operate effectively there are two kind of function first one is task related function that is problem solving and second one is group maintenance that is dispute solution first one task related function or problem solving function it relates to providing solution to the problems faced by the group in performing jobs and activities इस फंक्शन में लीडर का ये काम होता है और किसी तरह का प्रॉब्लम फेस कर रहे हैं सबॉर्डिनेट किसी पर्टिकुलर टास्क को कंप्लीट करने के लिए तो उसको प्रॉब्लम जो भी फेस कर रहे हैं उनको सॉल्यूशन प्रोवाइड करना और सेकंड है ग्रुप मेंटेनेंस फंक्शन और सोशल फंक्शन नाम से ही समझ आ रहा है ग्रुप मेंटेनेंस फंक्शन इसमें लीडर का काम होता है ग्रुप को मेंटेन करें ग्रुप में जो भी इंडिविजुअल है वो काम कर रहे हैं उनको वैल्यूड फील होना चाहिए दिस इज रिलेटेड टू द एक्शन ऑफ मेडिएटिंग डिस्प्यूट as well as ensuring that individual feels valued by the group the leader's behavior can be viewed in two ways first one is functional behavior and second one is dysfunctional behavior functional behavior which influence followers positively and includes such functions such as setting goals motivating employees for achieving goals increasing team spirit etc while dysfunctional behavior is unfavorable to the followers and denote ineffective leadership this behavior shows inability to accept employees idea display of emotional immaturity and poor human relationship now let us move forward to the implication of behavioral theory Be behavioral theory of leadership has some important implications for managers they can shape their behavior which appears to be functional and discard the behavior which is dysfunctional next one is limitation of this theory effective effectiveness of leaders behavior depends on various factors which are not in leader but are external to him like nature of followers and the situation under which the leader operates and the situation under which the leader's behavior take place these factors have not been given adequate consideration matlab is theory ka limitation ye hai ki isme वेरियस फैक्टर्स पे ध्यान तो दिया गया है लीडरशिप के लेकिन कुछ फैक्टर्स ऐसे भी हैं जो लीडर्स में नहीं होते बट उनके एक्सटर्नल इन्वॉल्वमेंट में हो सकते हैं जैसे कि उनके फॉलोवर्स का नेचर कैसा है उस जिस वो जिस प्लेस में ऑपरेट कर रहे हैं वो सिचुएशन कैसा है तो उसके अनुसार भी लीडरशिप इफेक्ट इफेक्ट कर सकता है तो ये इस थ्योरी का लिमिटेशन है नाउ द सेकेंड थ्योरी इज सिस्टम थ्योरी सिस्टम थ्योरी एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कंटिन्यूसली इंट्रैक्ट विद इट्स इन्वॉर्मेंट and adapts itself with a view to take suitable advantage of this interaction to achieve its goal is theory mein organization jo hai apne aas paas ke environment se continuously interact karte rehta hai taki us usko uske anusar apne aap ko wo adapt kar sake change kar sake aur jo bhi advantage le sake wo le taki objective ko pura kiya ja sake the organization keeps interacting between and within the task and social system because of these interaction four types of leadership pattern emerge in an organization the first one is formal leadership in this type of leadership there are two kind of leadership first one is transformational and second one is transactional transformational means the leader who is task oriented as well as so empathy for others that is overall development and transactional leader means who has who is more task oriented they clearly define the goal and focus on that only hum log isko ek example se samajh sakte hain agar leader a hai wo uske andar five subordinate kaam karte hain usme se do subordinate jo hai acche se kaam nahi kar rahe hain wo apne task ko pura nahi kar pa rahe hain to us case mein leader ko chahiye ki uske jagah pe ja kar soche ki kyun wo kaam nahi kar pa rahe unke problem ko janne ki koshish kare aur agar wo problem leader se solve ho jana hai to us लेकिन अगर दो इम्प्लॉय काम नहीं भी कर रहे हैं तो उस पर ज्यादा ध्यान नहीं देंगे वो डायरेक्टली फोकस करेंगे अपने गोल पे उनका मेन फोकस होता है की बस उनका टास्क कम्प्लीट होना चाहिए तो ये है ट्रांसफॉर्मेशनल एंड ट्रांजेक्शनल लीडर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशनल को हम लोग चार्जम बोलते हैं influence is primarily based on position top down control and large number of people in a predictable and a stable context
The second one is emergent leadership. Leadership is totally dependent upon skill, knowledge, communication. Human leadership influence is completely governed by skill and knowledge of an individual and his acceptance by the group. Communication is both sided, vertical as well as horizontal. And there are a small number of people fluctuating different attraction. Now the third one is shared leadership. जैसे कि नाम से ही हम लोग समझ रहे हैं कि शेयर्ड लीडरशिप इसमें लीडरशिप शेयर्ड होता है एज वी कैन सी इन दिस गिवन फिगर दैट देयर इज वन टीम एंड देयर इज अ शेयर्ड विजन एक्टिव पार्टिसिपेशन शेयर्ड गोल्स कम्युनिकेशन शेयर्ड ओनरशिप मींस हियर ऑल आर कमिंग टुगेदर एंड शेयर देयर ओपिनियन व्यूज एंड ऑल आर पार्टिसिपेटिंग दैट इज नोन एज शेयर्ड विलेज शेयर्ड लीडरशिप एंड द फोर्थ वन इज इंटरैक्टिव लीडरशिप नाम से ही हम लोग समझ सकते हैं इंटरक्टिव यानी ऐसा लीडरशिप जिसमें इंटरक्ट हो रहे हैं जो भी पार्टिसिपेंट्स है वो आपस में इंटरक्ट कर रहे हैं जैसे कि हम लोग एक फिगर में भी देख सकते हैं फाइव सिक्स एम्प्लॉयज बैठे हुए हैं जो आपस में इंटरक्ट कर रहे हैं अपने ओपिनियन दे रहे हैं अपने आइडियाज को शेयर कर रहे हैं तो एक दूसरे से इंटरेक्ट कर रहे हैं एक दूसरे से इन्फ्लुएंस हो रहे हैं तो इस तरह के लीडरशिप को इंटरक्टिव लीडरशिप बोलते हैं इंटर डिपेंडेंट इन्फ्लुएंस सेवरल इंडिविजुअल एंड कलेक्टिव कंट्रोल इज ऑल्सो कलेक्टिव एंड सेल्फ रेगुलेटिंग communication pattern is multidimensional vertical horizontal diagonal it can deal with complex and unpredictable context this is known as leaders interactive leadership thank you now i would like to call nandini for the further presentation thank you anisha so now i am going to continue with the last theory of leadership situational theory it is also known as contingency theory the main focus on situation in which leadership is exercised therefore effectiveness of leadership will be affected by the factors which, which is associated with the leader and factor associated with the situations there are two factors first is situational factors there are subordinate characteristics leader situations and group factors are come in this type of factors subordinate characteristics we know that everyone have their different characteristics everyone born with their different abilities and intelligence subordinates behave differently but a leaders have to handle all those situations which is created by the subordinates to maintain the decorum of the organization second is leaders situations leader situations is constituted by two variables first is leaders personal power and second is leaders subordinate relation leaders personal power is influencing others the higher position helps of leaders simplify the process of influencing others and vice versa second is leaders subordinates relationships it is based on the classic exchange theory which suggests that two way exchange in social relationships if any subordinate follow the footprints of his leader he or she achieve the ladder of success next factor is group factors we know that every group have their own cohesiveness unity norms and compositions it affect the group effectiveness and performance if these things are favorable leader will be effective and vice versa next factor is organizational factors organizational factor emphasizes on organizational climate vision and culture these factors mo motivate or demotivate the leader according to the favorable or unfavorable situations so the conclusion is there is some challenges which the leader have to go through on it and make best out of it second factor is leader's behavior in this leader characteristics we know that everyone have their own characteristics all individual behavior is influenced by intelligence and ability his characteristics like personality attitude interest motivation and physical characteristics such as age sex and physical features all these factors are internal to leader and influences his behavior second is leader's hierarchical position hierarchy or a position creates a different impact on employees managers at high level are more concerned with long term plans and participate in decision making but managers at lower level are more concerned with short term plans which are, may not require higher level of participation and degree of participation affect the leader's position so here i am going to conclude this theory and now going towards the next theory which is leadership style 
a leadership style is a leader's method of providing direction implementing plans and providing people a better direction to work towards this goal a leadership style is an orientation of leaders overall it is a way how there are three types of leadership style first one is authoritarian it's like a dictatorship all control towards the hands of leader in this the leader make decisions without taking input from anyone for an example when a manager changes the hours of work shift for multiple employees without consulting anyone but the subordinates have to follow the decisions second one is democratic leadership style in this the leader make decision based on the input of each team members it is the most effective leadership style because it allows lower level employees to participate in decision making for example if a board meeting held in organization and everyone vote is equally weighted like leaders vote have importance but the employees vote have the same importance in that meeting next is laissez faire the word laissez faire literally translate that let them do and leaders in bracket afford nearly all authority to their employees this type of leadership believe in empowering employees by trusting them towards therefore it's important that this type of leadership style it skip some monitoring and cheering for an example like entrepreneurs startups we might place this fear where they might trust their employees and they do whatever they want to do and in next glance we see a complete difference between these three types of leadership style we see in first picture auto autocratic the leaders give direction and order to the subordinates that do have to do this depend on subordinates that do whatever you want to do and in democratic leaders want the suggestion that the what employees is good and bad they want suggestions to the subordinates so now we are going to conclude our presentation with a quote that a leader is one who show, knows the way shows the way and goes the way thank you okay contained wise it was good no doubt but uh, i think nandini you were the star of the presentation basically kyunki dekhiye pratye aur anisha english mein aap logo ko koi problem nahi hai hai kya yes ma'am you can hear me yes ma'am yes ma'am english mein to aap logo ko koi problem nahi hai लिखना हम लोग को एग्जाम में इंग्लिश में ही है प्रेजेंटेशन में हम लोग प्रोफेशनलिज्म पे ध्यान देते हैं तो आप लोग हिंदी क्यों कन्वर्ट हो गए जिसको इंग्लिश में प्रॉब्लम है वो अगर देता है तो समझ में आता है आप लोग क्यों कन्वर्ट हो गए एकदम शुद्ध हिंदी में आप लोग समझा मेरा बोलना जरूरी है हाँ तो सारे लेवल के बच्चे प्रेजेंटेशन में यू नीड टू फोकस एक्सप्लेनेशन पार्ट इज आल्सो गुड एक्सप्लेनेशन में कोई कमी नहीं मैं एक्सप्लेनेशन को कुछ बोल ही नहीं रही एक्सप्लेनेशन बहुत अच्छा था कंटेंट वाइज भी अच्छा था एक्सप्लेनेशन भी अच्छा था बट जब आप लोगों को इंग्लिश में प्रॉब्लम नहीं है तो आपको इंग्लिश में देना चाहिए था ना लिखना तो हम लोगों को इंग्लिश में ही है ठीक है जिसको इंग्लिश में प्रॉब्लम नहीं है बट यू प्रेजेंट इन इंग्लिश ओनली सो देट यू कैन गिव योर कॉन्फिडेंस ठीक है डिपेंडिंग अपॉन प्लेटफॉर्म अगर बीबीए के बाद आप uh, अच्छे प्लेटफॉर्म पे जाने का एक्सपेक्टेशन रख रहे हैं बी कॉलेजेस में जाने का एक्सपेक्टेशन रख रहे हैं तो यू नीड टू डेवलप दिस एक्टिविटी दिस स्किल ठीक है तो जिसको प्रॉब्लम नहीं है वो इंग्लिश में दीजिए राइट right? और uh, प्रति आप किसी तरीके से बाकी सारा चीज तो ठीक है वो मदर टंग जो इन्फ्लुएंस है ना अगर आप दूर कर पाए कोशिश करिए ठीक है वैसे तो होता नहीं है My, मतलब ये बेसिकली प्रैक्टिस का चीज है लेकिन आप थोड़ा कोई अगर फेथफुल फ्रेंड है तो उसको बोलिए हमेशा टोकने के लिए जैसे आपका मदर टंग इन्फ्लुएंस आना शुरू करे ठीक है जहां आपका मदर टंग इन्फ्लुएंस आए तुरंत टोके लेकिन डिपेंडिंग अपॉन कहा जा रहे हैं कौन से प्लेटफॉर्म में अगर आप बिहार के सीएम बनेंगे तो फिर नीतीश कुमार जी इज ओके समझ आ रहा है अगर आप नेताजी बनना चाहते हैं दिस टोन इज ओके लेकिन इफ यू आर थिंकिंग टू गो ऑन दैट प्लेटफॉर्म लाइक एम बी एज और गो इन सम कॉर्पोरेट देन यू नीड टू फोकस ऑन दिस दिस थिंग ठीक है बाकी मेरे को नंदनी का जो नंदनी का रोल नंबर सेवन है ना 
यस मैम तो जो लोग दे सकते हैं वो लोग दीजिए इंग्लिश में बेटर है ऑलराइट एन एक्सप्लेनेशन समझाने के लिए सोचे कि यस मैम आप बोली थी ना कि एक्सप्लेनेशन ऐसे हो कि सबको समझ भी इसीलिए हम लोग मिक्स कर दिए थे इंग्लिश में भी तो एक्सप्लेनेशन अच्छे से होता है ना यस yes, समझाने में कहीं प्रॉब्लम नहीं मैं तो बोल ही रही हूँ अच्छे से एक्सप्लेन किए कंटेंट का जो कॉन्सेप्ट है वो अच्छा था ठीक है बस ये थोड़ा डेवलपमेंट के लिए आप लोगों को लेकिन नेक्स्ट टाइम जब प्रेजेंट करें तो वैसा ही प्रेजेंट करें इंग्लिश में प्रेजेंट करें सिंपल लैंग्वेज यूज करें जो दूसरे को समझ में आए ठीक है नेक्स्ट यस मैम थैंक यू मैम अब जैसे कल कर रहा था क्या नाम है चंदन फिफ्टी टू एक्सप्लेनेशन बढ़िया था लेकिन वो भी हिंदी इंग्लिश मिक्स कर रहा था है ना यस मैम तो आप भी कोशिश करिए ट्राई करिए अब नेक्स्ट क्लास में जब प्रेजेंटेशन होगा देखिए नेक्स्ट क्लास में वैसे तो एच है आप लोगों का एच कौन पढ़ाता है लेकिन अगर मेरा रहा तो ये सारा चीज आप जरूर चेक करें ठीक है नेक्स्ट सागर यस मैम Am I audible, ma'am? Yes, you are. Okay, thank you. Good morning, everyone. I'm Sagar Kumar, and today's me and my friend Monica going to present presentation on the topic of communication. Before starting our presentation, I would like to thank you, ma'am, for giving us this opportunity. Today's these four topics that we will discuss: first and second point, introduction of communication and type of communication will covered by me, and the third and the fourth point, process of communication and barriers of communication will covered by the Monica. First, we will discuss what is communication. communication is the act of giving receiving and sharing information in other words take uh, talking writing listening and reading good communicator listen carefully speaks and writing write clearly and respect different opinion communication communication is all about passing information from one person to another basically there are three types of communication verbal communication non verbal communication and written communication first first communication is verbal communication so what is verbal communication verbal communication is any communication that uses word to share information with others effective verbal communication involves three main areas the words we choose how we say them and how we reinforce them how we reinforce them with others non verbal communication all these effects the transmission of our message and how it is received and understood by audience effective effective listening is vital for good verbal communication so be prepared for listen keep an open mind concentrate on the main directions of the speaker's message avoid distraction and do not stereotype the speaker second type of communication is non verbal communication the key to the key to success in both personal and professional relations it lies in our ability to communicate well it is not the word that we use but our non verbal cues or body language that is speak the loudest body language is the use of physical behavior facial expression gesture eye contact touch voice etc 
When we interact with others, we are continuously giving and receiving wordless signals. All our nonverbal behavior, the gesture we make, our posture, our tone of voice, send a strong messages. This can this can put people at ease, build trust. These messages don't stop when we stop speaking either. Even we are silent, we communicating non-verbally. So if we want to become non, a better communicator, it's important to communicate well. Our next topic is communication network. In this, First is inverted V. In this network, an individual is allowed to communicate with his immediate superior as well as his superiors, superiors also. In the latter case, the subject matters of communication is prescribed. In this network, communication travel faster. Next is wheel network. Here we can see in PPT, all the messages flows through a, a. He communicates with other members of the group while members cannot communicate with each other. This way, the network is more and more used. Here, highly formal organization structure and task-oriented approach is leaders. Third is chain network. Chain network also follows a formal network of command where information flows vertically upward or downward a superior and subordinate communicate each others through vertically vertical of chain of command both upward and downward but it is a time consuming process fourth is circular network a network with chain networks is similar helikin यहाँ पे इंफॉर्मेशन का फ्लो वर्टिकल डायरेक्शन में ना होकर सर्कुलर डायरेक्शन में होता है जैसे कि हम देख सकते हैं कि इसमें ए बी सी से एक साथ बात कर सकता है लेकिन जब डी और ई e से बात करना होगा तब तो इंफॉर्मेशन को बी और सी से होकर गुजरना होगा एंड दिस लीड्स टू टाइम कंजेक्शन Fifth is all channel or star network. In this network, all the members communicate with each other freely and regularly. It provides maximum satisfaction to members and information flows faster. Next topic that we discuss is informal channel or grapevine. The, infor the informal channel of communication, also known as grapevine, it is the result not of any official action, but of the operation of social forces at workforce. Grapevine is classified into four parts. First is signal stand chain. In this type of grapevine communication, the information passes through a member of persons like a chain. We can see this PPT that A tells something to B, B tells to C, and this chain goes on. Second type of communication is gossip chain. Is me a key person up near around information ko share karta. Gossip chain generally tab hota job communic job communication job oriented nahi hota. Third type is probability chain. It is a random process in which information may move from one person to any another person accordingly to law of probability. information information interesting to hota hai, lekin utna important nahi hota. Ham dekh sakte hain ki is is me kuch log baat kar rahe hain kuch log nahi kar rahe last one is cluster chain 
इस टाइप ऑफ इस टाइप में क्या होता है कि इसमें इसमें वो वही लोग बात करते हैं जो जो पीपल ट्रस्ट करते हैं ट्रस्ट वर्दी पीपल को ही बताते हैं केवल इंफॉर्मेशन शेयर्स करते हैं दे आर सम एडवांटेज ऑफ इनफॉर्मल कम्युनिकेशन इज फ्लोज ऑफ इनफॉर्मल इंफॉर्मेशन इज फास्टर these ideas suggestions make them out such from such suggestion informal communication being unofficial and personal promotes a social relationship among the members thank you so much everyone here my part is completed now i would like to invite my friend monica to continue us to continue further presentation thank you sagar good morning ma'am and everyone today i am present here to throw some light on the following topics and my topics are written communication process of communication and barriers of communication kisi electronic jagah pe hai kya matlab tv kuch aur mobile wagar kuch bhi aas paas hai kya yes ma'am thoda dur jaiye मोनिका कितना दूर जाने वाले हैं आप यस मैम मैम नाउ इज इट ओके यस मैम एज वी ऑल नो वॉट इज रिटर्न कम्युनिकेशन एंड वी अंडरस्टैंड बाई रिटर्न कम्युनिकेशन डैट वी आर कम्युनिकेटिंग थ्रो पेपर पेन एक्सेट्रा टू समवन एल्स राइटिंग इट थ्रो ऑन पेपर और थ्रो सेंड बाय ईमेल today we are going to majorly focus on what's the exact meaning of written communication and what's the advantages and disadvantages of written communication the meaning of written communication means sending of messages orders or instructions in written format through letters reports official memos etc now these are certain messages which we can't send someone to be uh, <clears throat> just we can't send someone just by verbally talking to someone where we definitely need to be more specific and more precise something that is written and concrete it is a very formal method of communication and it's less flexible now comes to the merits and demerits of written communication so there is merits or advantages of written communication the first one is accuracy if your message is clearly and accurately delivered and it is clearly and accurately received by the receiver then the possibility of misunderstanding misinterpretation and even poor decision is radically reduced the second one is permanent record or proof for future reference a written document received properly becomes a permanent record for future reference it can also be used as legal evidence written formal form of communication also enables recipient to take more time in reviewing and the message reviewing the message and providing appropriate feedback the third one is communication for it is suitable for long distance communication and written communication is generally used when the audience are in a distant locations 
The last one is suitable for lengthy messages. Due to their ability to easily be referenced, written communication are particularly good for lengthy communication. For example, a company published their report in written format so that every stakeholders of the company can know more about the company and this work become difficult or complex if it is go through verbal communication. But it is easily done by the written communication. Now come to the demerits or disadvantages of written communication. The first one is lack of secrecy. Secrecy is not always possible in ma to maintain in written communication because here needs to discuss everything in black and white. The second one is time consuming. Written communication takes time to communicate with others. It is a The second one is time consuming. Written communication takes time to communicate with others. It is a time consuming media. It costs the valuable time of both sender and the receiver. The next one is costly. Written communication is comparatively expensive. For this communication, paper, pen, typewriter, computers, and a large number of employees needed. It is also very difficult and expensive to keep all the records of the written communication. This next one is lack of flexibility. Since written document can't be charged, changed ability sorry uh, lack of flexibility since written document can't be changed easily at any time lack of flexibility is one of the most important limitation of written communication the next one is not suitable in emergency it is also not effective in the case of emergency and the last one is delayed feedback it takes much time to get a response from the receiver quick response is not possible in case of written communication now moves towards the process of communication. Here you can see there, are, there is a picture that is sender, encoding, message, channels, receiver, decoding, and then feedback. Now we will discuss one by one. The communication process is a dynamic framework that describes how a message travels between a sender and a receiver. Its goal is to ensure the receiver decodes the message correctly and can provide feedback with comfort and speed. The process of communication starts with sender. The person who, the sender is a person who conceptualized the idea and wants it delivered to the recipient. The next one is encoding. This is the way the information is described or translated into a message. Message, this is the idea, fact, or opinion that the sender wants to communicate. And the media or channel of communication is the method of delivering message. The next one is receiver. This is the target audience of the sender. Decoding the interpretation of the message through receiver and feedback. This is the response or action of a receiver takes after decoding a message. So this is the process of communication. Now comes to the barriers of communication. There are four categories under barriers of communication. The first one is semantic barriers. The second one is psychological barriers. The third one is organizational barriers. And fourth one is personal barriers. Let Discuss one by one. Semantic barriers. Sometimes the same words and sentence can be understood differently by different people in the organization. Many people, many people understand the message according to their level of understanding. For example, if the production manager announces in the meeting that there will be increase in budget of production department. Then employees understand that their salary will be increased, but managers understand it that expensive machinery will be purchased. Main causes of semantic uh, semantic problem are that is badly expressed message. Sometimes due to lack of vocabulary, manager may 
use wrong words or mention of needed words due to this the manager may not convey the same meaning to his subordinates the next one is symbols with different meaning sometimes the word may have different meaning but receiver may understand the other meaning for example the word w r i t e right and r i g s t right is a different meaning but same in the pronunciation and the next one is handle with care or hold the handle the of the, uh, hold the handle of the door carefully the meaning of these two phrases are different but sometimes we confuse over them the next one is faulty translation sometimes the works workers don't understand the language which is used by the manager so workers get in translate if translator is not efficient he may make mistake in translation due to wrong translation there may be trans transfer of wrong messages the next one is unclear assumptions sometimes the workers may misinterpret the assumptions for example boss may interact the subordinates to sorry boss may instruct <clears throat> boss may instruct the subordinates that take care of goods but he may mean that take care of the quality of goods and the workers understand that he is instructing to keep the goods in safe condition the next one is technical jargon while explaining to subordinates many experts use technical words which may not be understand by the workers the next one is body language and gesture decoding if the verbal communication is not matching with the body language then workers may get confused and misunderstand the meaning for example manager is taking a joke but there are sign of anger in his face then worker will get confused the next one is physical uh, psychological barrier emotional or psychological factors acts as a barriers to effective communication the state of mind has great influence over the information and its reference as the no so there are some causes of physical or uh, psychological barriers that is premature evaluation it means driving conclusion before completion of message sometimes people evaluate the meaning of message before the sender completes the message in such case the receiver may not have an open mind he may have some personal prejudice against the sender and second one is lack of attention it means when receiver doesn't pay complete attention to the message as a result communication become ineffective the reason can be preoccupied mind of the receiver and the next one is loss of poor retention when com when communication passes through various levels the result infiltration or loss of information the next one is distrust distrust between communicator and the receiver also acts as a barrier to effective communication this may not understand each other's message in the original form the next one is organizational barrier factors related to organizational structures authority relationship rules regulations may act as a barrier the first one is organizational policy if organization policy doesn't support free flow of information it may result in barrier for example in centralized organization most of the information remains at a top level only but people at lower level not be able to communicate freely in centralized organization the next one is rules and regulations rigid rules regulations may also create barriers as following rules may lead to red tapism delay of action and delay in movement of information is this the last slide sorry ma'am is this the last slide kya ye last slide hai explanation ka ah uh, yes ma'am yes ma'am so let's finish it the next one is a status difference sometimes the people working at higher level don't believe in the information supplied by the lower level employees as they feel how about my job and who is he to give my suggestions 
and sometimes complex organization when information passes through various levels there can be screening or filtration of information at different levels and the last one is organizational facilities in large organization free and effective flow of communication is possible only when has some facilities like social get together complaint box task force etc exist in the absence of such facilities there can be delay and barrier to effective communication the last one is personal barriers certain personal factors of senders and receiver may influence the free flow of may not influence the free flow of information these are the personal attributes the first one in this is the first one in this is lack of confidence if supervisor have no confidence and trust in their subordinates then they pay no attention to their advice opinion or suggestion the next one is lack of incentive if there is no incentive for communication then subordinates may not take in initiative to give suggestions for example if there is no reward given for giving some good advice then employees will take no interest over them the next one is fear of authority sometimes supervisor conceal or conceal and hide information if they have fear of losing their authority over the subordinates the last one is unwillingness to communicate sometimes employees are unwilling to communicate with superior if they feel it may negatively affect their own interest now i would like to conclude my words thank you okay the only suggestion i like to give you matlab improvement to kuch na kuch to bolna hai isliye warna presentation was good इम्प्रूवमेंट के लिए मैं बस सजेस्ट करूंगी सागर और मोनिका दोनों के लिए सेम है इंथुजियाज्म और एनर्जी के साथ अगर प्रेजेंटेशन दें तो इसमें चार चांद और लग जाए ठीक है थोड़ा सा हल्का सा स्माइल थोड़ा सा और एनर्जी एंड योर प्रेजेंटेशन इज अपू द मार्क राइट आई लेट टूडे अभी कौन सा क्लास है आप लोगों का तीन मिनट में हो जाना चाहिए दस पांच तक लीव कर जाइएगा और नेक्स्ट डे किसका है प्रेजेंटेशन हम लोग क्या नाम शायद पावर पॉलिटिक्स और ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कल चलना ठीक है सब रेडी हो गए हैं यस मैम मैम पहले ऑर्गेनाइजेशन होगा ना हां सीक्वेंस में देख लीजिएगा जो पहले होगा अब होगा दो दिन के बाद अब 18th को होगा 18th हम्म जल्दी हो तो और नहीं मिले ओके रोल नंबर वन टू थ्री यस मैम रोल नंबर टू मैम थ्री प्रेजेंट मैम फोर फाइव सिक्स मैम प्रेजेंट यस मैम रोल नंबर फाइव सेवन प्रेजेंट मैम सेवन 
Yes, 41, 42, 43, 44. Yes, ma'am, 42. 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. 46, ma'am, ma present, ma'am. Ma'am, 45, present, ma'am. Okay. 47, 47, 47, 47, 47, 47, 47, 47, 47, 47, 48, 49. Ma'am, 48, present, ma'am. 49. Ma'am, 47, present. Where are you from? 49 yes ma'am 61, 62, 63. 64 present, ma'am. 55, 73, 74, 75. 76, 76. Ma'am, 77, ma'am. Ma'am, 76. All right. 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83. Ma'am, 81. Ma'am, 81. Okay, 82, 83, 84. 85. Ma'am, 80%. 86, ma'am. Ma'am, 86. Okay, 80 present, 86 present. That's it. All right. Ma'am, come on, class with your absent. Ma'am, 86. Ma'am, 86. Ma'am, 86. Ma'am, 86. Yes, ma'am. A class correct? Yes, ma'am. Train with a bot. Ma'am, roll number 18, which would get ma'am. Mira, mic network is super. Mikey only. Oh, girl. Okay, ma'am. Mira, mic network is super. Mikey only. Oh, girl. आज मैम आज अब भी मैम पत्ते को मैसेज भी कैमरा तो ऑन था नहीं आपका मैम मेरा कैमरा ऑन था और मैं फोटो नहीं मैम और किसका कैमरा ऑन था मैंने एब्सेंट कर दिया मैम 44 बनाया कि नहीं पता नहीं मैम 39 44 का तो ऑन था आपका ऑन जरूर रहता लेकिन हमेशा सेलिंग या दीवाल नजर आता है तो प्रेजेंट तो है मेरा ऑन था चेक करिए तुम मैं मीटिंग देख लीजिए चलो जाइए मैम मेरा क्लास करिए चलिए थैंक यू सी यू नेक्स्ट क्लास दो